Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But that's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Maxonaut Borderlands 3 video and today we are covering a new vault card weapon that was just added today. This thing might be one of the craziest weapons added into Borderlands 3 and I cannot wait to try it. I haven't actually tried this thing yet so we're going to be doing that live but this is the new weapon, the Blade Fury. It shoots knives, they deal weapon damage and melee damage and is a Jacobs and there's so many crazy things that we could do with this because it's going to be dealing both weapon damage and melee damage. It's a full auto Jacobs. Today we're going to be testing it out on a few different characters, giving you guys my impressions of it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. All right, so currently I have an unanointed Blade Fury. We're rocking this thing with a Revolter. I'm going to try it with a Radiation Stone Static Charge. Then we might try it with a White Elephant. Then we might try it with the Unleash the Dragon. Uh, rocking a Muse here. I think Kensei could be really nasty. Um, the Skill Tree I'm rocking is Body and Mind. For uh, the melee attacks dealing bonus splash damage could be interesting. We've got Unweave the Rainbow. We're finally rocking uh, Expedite, uh, which is going to give us cooldown rate per enemy killed. And we're going to use that with Ties That Bind. Should be kind of disgusting. Also, I think Indiscriminate might work with this thing because it's a gun dealing gun damage and melee damage. So we could have our Jacob's Ricochets ricocheting around dealing melee damage, which could be nutty with the static charge. And there's just, there's so many possibilities with this new gun. Uh, I think this is going to be an incredible weapon on Amara. I think it's going to be an incredible weapon on Flak. So, so curious. All right, first shots with it. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Let's wrap someone up there. Oh boy. I, I am, oh, this is true takedown. By the way, friendly reminder, this weapon is unanointed. <laughs> this is an unanointed weapon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> also true takedown. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good too. By the way, this gun, uh, it shoots the, the projectiles on it. It's kind of hard to tell here but there are these like blades that have bullets attached to them. So you can see the knife there. And then on the knife, there's like a bullet and split between both sides. Uh, also nutty cooldown with expedite. Finally fixed. I will have new Amara builds. I, I will, I'll do full Amara build breakdowns, uh, but I did just want to like try this weapon out and, and see how it works. Cause this is looking, was that an indiscriminate proc that just killed that guy? This is looking so gross. <laughs> this is looking so gross. Oh my god. Imagine this thing with a, an anoint. Plus, you could use something with like kill stack on this. Um, you could use a melee damage anoint. Oh my lord. Alright, crack it time. Should we do it to him? Goodbye. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, uh, real quick. Let's put on and unleash the dragon. We're gonna put on unleash the dragon and fight these guys over here. See what our, uh... Okay, dot setting for about a million. Oh my goodness. They're, they're... This is, this gun kind of reminds me of what I originally thought the Kensei would be like. The Kensei we kind of theorized was going to be able to give us guns that we could use with like uh, for example, like a monarch with white elephant. This is kind of that. This is kind of like the Kensei, what we thought it would be in one gun, and that is disgusting. And not only that, but you could use it on all characters. <laughs> uh, this is really, really cool. All right, uh, let's go try something else. All right, so next up, we're trying... We actually... you you can get this thing in a masher variant. It's kind of just going to be kind of luck to get it. Uh, the masher variant changes it from a full auto to a uh, semi-auto. And we're going to try it with Brawler's Ward, uh, which should be interesting. I do really want to try this thing with the Kensei, but the Masher variant should be also really cool. One thing that makes this thing just over the top incredible is that it is working with Indiscriminate. So the, your like knives are flying around and those knives are also proccing body and mind. Uh, which those ricochets are going to deal splash damage when you pair that thing with a static charge and ties are just getting crazy crazy aoe damage plus this thing can proc combo breaker uh which is going to give you crazy this with expedite and combo breaker uh it just means like ridiculous action skill cooldown uh let's do like a, a ties here shoot some things and then get a ridiculous cooldown uh, oh it's so good dude it is so so good 
Uh, this is only the first item in the vault card that we've tried. Um, my goodness. I cannot wait. All right. Uh, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will catch y'all in the next one. Go get this thing. Uh, give it a try. This is... Friendship ended with the face puncher. There's now something else you can use on Amara and... Quote, Amara bad. This thing uh, is going to be very good for Amara. <laughs> this, this might just be Amara's best weapon, period. Uh, it's pretty freaking nuts. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.